All right, let's talk about lighting. Lighting is your friend. So uh, right now I'm using lights, uh, that's okay. I mean, like I said, I've made some investment in stuff, but you may not wanna make the investment in lights and you shouldn't have to. If you do want to, you can find some starter LED, lighter pack uh, LED light packages for you know, a couple hundred bucks. But here's what you need to know about light. One, natural light is your friend. So if you, if you have no lighting, there's nothing built in, the, to your camera, which in most cases there's not, or even on your phone, usually the light doesn't work with the video. Um, just shoot near open light. Shooting outdoors is always great, as long as uh, there's some light out there. Um, and indoors, just be by windows. Just be conscious of that, um, that if they're near a window that you're not getting blasted too hard on one side and the other side's dark. Uh, I've had that happen before. But here's my tip for lighting, is let's say you're using an iPhone or even your camera, just use that selfie, camera, the one I told you not to use before. You always use the back side of an iPhone, but use the selfie camera, the front side, and just do a 360 and spin around and you'll get a sense of uh, when you look at that, where the good lighting's coming from. And then where you see that good lighting, that's where you can set up and then start using the backside camera or your GoPro or your DSLR camera. So I'm gonna do a 360 spin here. Now see when I've got a window behind me, I'm a little washed out. Very washed out with the windows there. And then when I come back around here, I, I think I had it just about right. So this seems to be about the best spot for a shot where I'm gonna get the best, the best lighting right here. So knowing this, now I'll switch back to the other side of the camera and I would have someone shoot me if I was gonna be doing a video where I'm talking to the camera like I am now. This is true for outdoors too, because while natural light is great, uh, sometimes that sun can be really harsh. Uh, depends on the time of day too um, and where you're at. Uh, but if you do a 360 spin, you're gonna get a good sense of what that looks like. Or let's say you're doing an ex exterior shot of a house. Um, get a bunch of shots from a bunch of different angles and you're gonna see that some are really bright and washed out and some might be shadowed out, but some are gonna be just perfect. So um, when you're shooting exterior, um, just do it, you know, kind of do a walk around the house and take a couple sample shots and you'll see what'll work. And when you're shooting indoors, I like to do a little spin and just kind of see where that natural light is coming in best. But definitely open windows, lots of sun coming through. Um, you know, even as I'm shooting right now, uh, behind the camera, I've got a big open window and that's giving me some natural light. Now I am, as you can see with the shadows here, augmenting with some LED lights. I've also backlit myself as well and that does uh, decreases the shadows somewhat. So real quick before I move on from lighting, I do want to talk about backlighting. Um, this is something that I just sort of learned through trial and error over the years and now I make it a big part of what I do. And that's, I mentioned that I've got myself backlit as well. Um, because I've got natural light coming in from the window, I've got a light on over here and I've got an LED light up there. What that's gonna do, because I've got a white background, is create a tremendous amount of shadow. I've already got a little shadow going on here, um, but not a ton, and part of that is because I've got a light down here that's, you can see my hand now is, is sort of glowing when I'm in front of it. Uh, it's lighting up the back behind me um, so that the, 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 you don't see the shadows as much. Um, so a couple things to think about. If you do have some lights, just remembering that having that backlight can make a big difference. You, while it's important to have light in your face, so if you're doing a shot in an interior of a home and you're filming somebody or a subject of some type, um, while you do want some light shining on them, if there's any way to, like if there's a side window over here that's letting in some light there to get a little light behind them, that's gonna make it look really nice. If you're just in a dark corner with light coming in from one side of the room, that can give it kind of a funky look. So backlighting can be, uh, can be really important. Again, kind of next level, but it's something to, 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 to look for.